you know, we uh, can talk about this all day, but uh, we wouldn't be doing justice to Ignition Edge panel if we didn't show you how some leading companies are using it in the real world. So we've got two very impressive projects from two of our uh, Ignition Premier integrators, Vertec and Brock Solutions, that we want to show off today. The first of which is, you know, we have Ross here from Vertec. Ross, can you tell us a little bit about the project that you've been working on? Sure, yeah. Thanks, Kent. As I kind of mentioned when I introduced myself, I do a lot of work in the solid waste industry, and that's uh, one of the customers that we're going to be uh, showing off one of their projects today. So our specific customer, they're a world leader in the solid waste industry, and they are continually investing into their automation infrastructure. And currently, they're using Ignition for their enterprise application, which gives their entire organization visibility into all of their sites across the country. But there is the requirement that they have local command and control that is independent of the enterprise solution. And that is where uh, Ignition Edge Panel has come into play and has helped out with that. Vertec has deployed two projects with the Edge Panel with this customer and has given them that additional flexibility that they require. Both of these projects collect data from multiple assets uh, such as pump stations, flares, tank farms, treatment plants, and, and even like renewable energy plants that each site might have. Basically, we try to connect to any IoT device that's in the automation space at each site. So in addition to displaying and controlling assets on the site with Ignition Panel Edge, um, we're also using it to collect and send data to the enterprise system using that Ignition Edge Sync module that can be purchased and added on. And, uh, and that helps with giving visibility to the entire organization. With their particular applications, uh, their sites are located all over the country and in many cases in very remote locations. And with some of those locations, trying to get communications or even internet access is, is a challenge. And many of these sites run off of a cellular connection, whether that's through Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. And just inherently with all just different types of technology, if you're relying on one of those ISP carriers, communication outages can occur and you'll get become disconnected with that enterprise system. And with Ignition Edge, we, we have the ability to keep the local site operational during those outages and not affect daily operations, but then also the data buffering is, is key. So as soon as comms is lost, Ignition Edge will buffer all of that data during that outage. And as soon as communications is restored, it starts pushing that data up to the enterprise system. Our historian is backfilled. We don't lose data in our reports and all of the trending fu functionality works at that uh, enterprise level. So that is just you know one thing this, that's inherently awesome with the Ignition Edge Panel. The other advantage that we've seen with using Edge Panel when we have to have local control, we don't want to deploy an entire uh, Ignition, full-blown Ignition gateway is we can reuse many of the same views that were developed for the enterprise system. Since it's all the same platform, it's just a simple import. And it's not even just limited to views. We can also reuse all of our tags, alarm configurations, and even all the custom scripts that are used in both of those systems to make a, a great visualization platform. And in turn, you know, this has streamlined our development process, and it also enabled Vertec to create a common user interface between the enterprise ignition system and the local panel edge project. So when we're doing training with operations, we're training them on a common user interface. So we don't have to train them on two separate systems and it just makes the system more cohesive. Next, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the applications that we developed. So this is a screenshot, of one of our applications that we developed in ignition edge panel. This is all developed using the, per, the perspective module when we went and deployed the project. And as you can see, we uh, our customer likes to see a high level overview of the site. So we take a satellite image and we start placing asset flags all over the place where the assets actually physically located on the site. And we're able to give users the ability to see what's happening and what sites are having problems, what sites are running okay. And this is for everything from a pump station to a flare, tank farm, and even those large treatment plant facilities that I had uh, explained earlier. And you know, using the perspective in Ignition Edge panel, you get the same functionality that you get with the full-blown Ignition gateway. So 
all of those style classes that we use, all the scripts to make flags turn different colors and uh, being able to adjust those custom properties, it, it's enabled us to create a sleek user interface for the for the customer and, and, and keep that common UI across the enterprise and the local system itself. So imagine if you're working with this and you can click on a um, one of these assets, it, we have it selected that you know you can go and, and click any of that. And that's one other thing I wanna to mention too, is when we developed this application, it was developed to be used through a web interface where you're using a mouse pointer and, and you're you doing it through a web browser on your computer. But whenever we changed it over to Ignition Edge Panel, the touchscreen functionality came with it. So a click inherently turned into touching uh, you know, the overview button on the screen or touching one of these flags. And there was very minimal development that we had to do to convert our SCADA projects into a touchscreen application, which also you know, streamlined the development time uh, on this project. So here's another example of a, uh, a detailed view. And again, this was pulled directly in from our enterprise system with just some minor massaging to get it to work with the Ignition Edge panel. And we had it organized into you know, different cards. So we have a data card showing um, our pump statuses, all of the different process variables that are associated with it, such as level, flow, pressures, and the alarm indications, which you can see we have some alarm at this particular site. It brings some operator awareness to the site and they know that they have to go take a look at that because there might be a problem or maybe there's some maintenance that needs to be done with that specific device. And the other thing that really makes Addiction Edge panel shine compared to other touchscreens is the is the data historian. So we can we can store a limited number of data points over a seven day period, get the granularity that we need out of each data point and 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 every single asset. Because you can imagine on the landfill as I showed from that bigger screen, there are close to 20 different pump stations that were being monitored by this control system. And each each pump station has let's say 10 tags that we're historizing. And in many touchscreens, uh, you're limited by how many points of history that you store before they run out of space and they start deleting the old data. And with that, if you have a large amount of data that you're trying to store, large amount of tags, you just simply won't get the time frame that you need. Um, you won't get that seven day query of, of trend data from your, from your historian. So it's really enabled us to give local operations some granularity to their data um, over that seven day period and not have the constraints of, of, of historical data limits. And just like full-blown ignition, you get all of the, the full functionality with their time series charts, the power charts, which has you know, allowed us to provide that, that, those high performance graphics that, that our customers come to expect from us. So let's take a look at some process flow screens because there's definitely times when you need to have that traditional look and feel of here's our process flow, here's our P&ID screen. And you know, with Ignition, we're able to do all of that. We can draw the lines and, and create custom symbols, even using the built-in symbols that Ignition offers to show blower statuses, to show valves, and, and then even create custom objects to show different analog values and then being able to repeat those views and use multiple instances of them across one view so that we're using one single object, just passing some parameters down. We're not having to go back and um, recreate every single one of these objects individually. That's a huge advantage because there's many touchscreens where, you know, for this PT100 and PT101, you'd have to create separate objects for each one of them uh, just because of the limitations of the proprietary software. So you know, and it, it really can hinder our development because if we make one mistake and we had already copied and pasted all of those objects across the screen, well, now we have to go back and make that fix across all the objects. And with that, you know, comes some lack of consistency and, and then misses whenever you're trying to debug your program. So a lot of advantages to using an Ignition Edge panel because this gives you that full, full functionality. And just like many other touchscreens, uh, we've also had the ability where you can click it, any one of these devices, a faceplate will pop up, show your device health, give the opera, um, operator the ability to change alarm set points and even configure the devices and you know, sky's the limit with what you can do with it. And in addition to traditional touchscreen kind of applications, you can also 
create some custom dashboards and you're, you know you might be limited on what you can actually analyze but there's still some really cool things that you can do with it with the custom customization of you know writing your own scripts so in this case with edge panel uh, we've given the site the ability to view their entire tank farm and have all of the the trend data here over the last seven days so they can see how how fast their tanks are filling up whether or not they need to schedule trucks to come in and get rid of their uh, offload their leachate to go be treated and you know we even get volumes of each one of the tanks so um, this helps operations to make decisions locally at the site without the enterprise system and keep them efficient and one other thing that and i don't know of any other touch that's really doing this that much is um, the fact that you you get the ability to make dynamic screens so you know in this case i'm showing four tanks on this particular view but if i needed to add a fifth tank or even a sixth tank with the scripting capability and the way that ignition structures are tags and using the flex repeater, I can just add an additional tank tag and then this screen will dynamically add an additional tank card to the view without me having to go and do any development, which is a great feature and uh, eliminates the, again, the development cost with developing a screen like this and then making it more dynamic. And the last feature that I wanna show, and this was brought up, is the fact that you get that one additional session uh, with the two users being able to log in one locally at the site and then one that is um, using a remote session but what we've given is we've taken a step forward and said hey you should have mobile functionality so since this is a landfill and you have your touch screen maybe at the main office but the pump stations out in the field well we developed the views using the same project to work on a mobile phone and we've refactored some of our views so that it fits on an iPhone, it fits on an iPad, or hey, if they go out with their laptop, well, then they get the full functionality that they would on the touch screen that's at their main office. And uh, and as you can see, we, we just refactor some of these overview screens so that we get them in a column format for visualization purposes on the phone. They can get, you know, whether a pump's running, what the levels are at each of the sites, and then and then they can even click into the each individual station and get full detailed information about how their station is performing and even take control of the pump station while they're sitting there physically at the at the pump station itself and even with the mobile view we're still giving the full functionality of all of the the trend screens and getting that long-term data history that seven day history in the palm of their hands without having to connect to the enterprise system and all of this again was pulled directly from our enterprise and we were able to reuse it in our edge panel with very minimal changes needing to be made on the views. So a very powerful platform. And that's all I have. So Ken, I'll, I'll turn it back over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Ross. And one note that I want to make sure people get all the, the right information. Technically, Ignition Edge has seven that seven-day buffer. And uh, Ross said there's no limit there. Technically, there is a limit to how much data you can store to that database. We used to have it match what other HMI systems have, which is a million rows is a pretty common metric that people have. And the feedback we got from our customers was that's not enough, that's limiting, we don't want that. And so we said, we could double it, we could triple it, we could do it by five, but you know, we don't want this to be a problem again. So we said 10 times, you can do 10 million rows and it hasn't really been a problem anymore. So uh, it's effectively unlimited because um, we just decided to you know, go much, much bigger than uh, what people are running into, but uh, there is technically a limit. It is 10 million rows, but Ross, it's good to hear that. Yeah, it, it feels unlimited as you're using it. It does, um, it does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks Ross. And uh, thank you Vertec for being here, you know, and talking about your project. You know, another premier integrator we have is, is Brock Solutions. They unfortunately weren't able to make it today, but I did want to just hit a couple points here on uh, a case study they have in upstate New York. But, but first, Brock Solutions is leading a multi-year program to uplift a water SCADA system. And they don't just work in water, wastewater. They also you know, do work in manufacturing, construction materials, food and beverage, water, wastewater, and as well as other industries and have locations in, in the US and Canada. For this project, they're using Ignition SCADA to deliver a sustainable modern solution um, and addressing critical obsolescence and cybersecurity concerns, as well as upgrading PLC hardware drives and implementing new sensing hardware as well as uh, extensively leveraging Ignition Edge's computing capabilities. And so 45 of the sites utilize Ignition Edge panel, 
these remote sites are pump stations, chlorination monitoring and injection, and tanks or reservoirs. All these found at the edge of network and communicate back to essentially a server via MQTT. These different edge panels are being used for device control, for viewing operator alarms, and these sites are critical. So they need to have local control if the network to the central gateway fails. And then also this has really been able to balloon out because it's more cost efficient than having, you know, full blown ignition at each site. And so Brock was able to grab panel PCs off the shelf from Avantech is what they're using. And, you know, they were able to deploy these, you know, 45 edge panels really easily and very cost effective. So you can see the ignition edge panel is, is critical to the success of this project for them in upstate New York. To make sure we get to everybody's questions, uh, Don, we'll turn it back over to you. And thank you very much for sharing that project information, Ross. Thanks for sharing. We really appreciate sort of digging in and letting people see what they can do with it. Also, there are quite a few questions. So I just want to say a couple of things to sort of wrap up and really invite you to, uh, you know, to consider Ignition HMIs as a practical and affordable solution for sourcing your HMIs during this time of supply chain disruption, as well as off into the future when you find it worked, as you can see today. You can try and download Ignition Edge at inductiveautomation.com. That was already mentioned by Kent. Um, you can browse Ignition onboard panel PCs with the Ignition Edge panel preloaded, pre-licensed at inductiveautomation.com slash onboard. Just to wrap up, though, for Kent and Ross, can you wrap up by sharing maybe a few thoughts about how Ignition can help companies deal with supply chain problems or other current challenges? Ross, I... I think I'll ask you first and then have you wrap up, Kent. Ross. Yeah, specifically from the from the supply chain issues, uh, the fact that Ignition Edge Panel is hardware agnostic means that you can shop around. And so basically, you know, as as it was mentioned on the on the call, whoever, you know, as, as long as it's a computer and is compatible with the software, you can just mix and match and get any kind of hardware that's available. And that's becoming the the name of the game right now. I don't see the the supply chain issue resolving here anytime soon. So I, you know, the fact that this is available to us is I think really going to help keep future projects and our current projects on schedule and and moving forward. Kent. Yeah, and you know, I was talking with Ross about this earlier this week, and and one thing you mentioned that I really liked was talked about that for some projects, people are are getting desperate with these supply chain issues. They're you know going to eBay. And they're paying more for used products than you know the retail cost of a brand new piece of equipment. And yeah, it's just crazy out there right now. And so having this flexibility is is a big deal. You know, I think this kind of speaks to one of you know the the mission statements that we have here at Inductive Automation, which is you know we're we're trying to get rid of all these you know economic obstacles and technological obstacles that people have for their projects. And and a big way that we've done that is we want to allow people to not be tied into proprietary solutions. That's why we support things like MQTT, OPC. Um, you know, there's all these software pieces where we want to support, you know, interoperability and openness. And so it just makes sense on the hardware side that we'd feel the same way that, you know, rather than delivering an HMI product that is hardware that we sell directly that you can only get from us. And, you know, you, you live or die based on our availability. You know, we say, no, you know, we're all about, you know, being open, providing solutions that um, are flexible. You you go get your hardware, you put it in place, and you know it, it it can be whatever hardware you want. And yeah, so we're we're just trying to be true to ourselves, you know. And we felt like the onboard program was a a good way for us to still give people uh, an all-in-one solution that they want. So certainly you can leverage those onboard partners to have one one person provide you, you know, a a touch panel that's already got everything installed, everything you know ready to go. If that's if that's the way you like to operate, that's great. Go with those onboard partners. If you know you're the kind of person who likes to go and shop around, find your best price for the you know hardware that's going to work best for you, you can do that as well. And so, uh, lots of flexibility. But yeah, just it's been fun to see with you know that that additional flexibility what different uh, people have been able to do with their projects, uh, like the two projects we showed you today. 